Look at those nice machines. I don't know. Dog blankets, maybe? Good morning, everyone. We are on quite the adventure today. We're out ice fishing. We're at a new lake that we've actually wanted to try for probably over a year. We finally made it out here today. It was about 17 miles from where we had to park the truck, and it was a very nice snow machine right out here. We just got four holes drilled, and you can tell we have invested in a gas auger, and that thing is absolutely amazing. That's gonna be a huge game changer for us. We're fishing for pike today. This lake's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, like I said, we got four holes going. We're gonna do two tip-ups with some bait on them. We have some herring, and then we're gonna do two holes that Ariel and I are gonna be jigging spoons, and we're gonna see what we can catch. Here we go, look at that. So this is a tip-up. We've used these before, but we've never caught anything on a tip up. Basically what happens, you're gonna have your flag down like that. And when a fish bites this, it's gonna pull out a little bit of line. It's gonna spin this and your flag's gonna go up like that. And then you run over there and you try to set the hook. 
So I'm gonna set two tip-ups over there, and these are the ones that are gonna have bait on them. I'm just gonna put this down a couple feet. I don't know how deep it is here yet, but we'll find out. About five feet deep. Okay. Put that there. Let's set it and forget it. Cool. Uh, Big old hook on that one. Okay, that's number two. Whew. Pretty cold out here. What do you think it is? I think it was about, uh, it said it was three degrees in the truck when we left the truck. But I think the only thing that's really cold is our hands. And we just are in the middle of some really cool stuff going on right now. There's a huge commercial plane right there flying. There's two like military jets that just went by. There's a helicopter underneath them. There's another commercial jet up there. And then there's a helicopter right there. So pretty cool show out here. All right, this is one of the setups. I've got this really short steel leader. I'm gonna use that on this one. And this will be the one I'm using. I'm gonna pick out my favorite spoon. I'm gonna use this one. And this is a, a new pole. We actually bought our ice auger used. Well, we bought it used, but the person we bought it from, they had never used it. And it also came with these two really nice little rods and reels. So I'm gonna hook Ariel up on this one. And we're gonna do a steel leader. And then we'll see what spoon she wants to use. And Ariel's going with the Blue Fox spoon. And she's got a, um, steel leader on here. I wonder if any of these are deep enough. Let's see how deep it is. Dang, the water was already frozen. The chopper. We were only in like, what, three feet of water? Yeah. So this is... We got about it's about that, so it's it's plus maybe three feet of water. Once the it's really not that bad. It's like wow, that really looks like a fish. So one of our flags just popped up, and Eric ran over there, and. He did not get the fish. It already took the bait, right? Yeah, I took the bait. Well, that tip up went off and I ran over there and the little thing was spinning pretty fast like it was taking out the line. But I went to kind of pull it to try to set the hook and the fish wasn't on there. It took the bait and then I checked that one to see how that one was doing and the bait was also gone on that. So I put another piece of bait on both of them and I tried to hook them on a little bit better. And I think Ariel said she's gonna put some bait on her spoon. And by bait, I mean the little herring that we're using. They're probably about six inches long. So I think she's gonna try that. Maybe these fish like bait out here. Oh no. How are you gonna get it out? Oh that's a nice one. Woo! Pretty big. Yeah, it's a great size. It's gonna flop right back in the hole. Well this is why you keep on fishing. We were sitting here being like, where else should we try fishing? Where else should we try? And I was just jigging. And we got a pike. So, uh-huh. Man, I barely hooked him. You see that? I yeah. hooked him in the eyeball. So I'm gonna put this little guy out of his misery. And this is awesome. We got a fish. Hey, did you have bait on there? No bait. 
Just a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how that always happens when it like... He hit it, he got off, and he came back. Oh, that's... How come they're so long? What Can you beauty. go back over there? What a beauty, look at that. Don't get him next to the hole. Wow. That's a big one. Woo! Two for you. Hell yeah. Well, it's because I'm the only one fishing. Oh my gosh, he's long. He's very big. Okay. Let's put him out. He's way bigger. He's way bigger. That's it. That's probably 24 Four. inches. Probably 24. Hey, you know what? Oh, oh. Shit, oh, I think I got my tape measure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've been here for probably about two hours. And each time I've caught these fish, Ariel, she's gotten fed up with her spot. And she's like, I'm going to go see if there's a different spot I can fish. And as soon as she starts to walk away, I catch these fish. We'll see what we're working with here. I got my tape measure. And the first one we caught was... 22 and a half inches and then this one we just pulled up was 25 and a half so I'm pretty sure the biggest one we've ever caught was about 27 or 26 and a half and so we haven't uh, beat that record but these are some awesome fish really nice to catch one on one of those tip ups well, I twice now that bait's got taken, so something something clearly was going on with that, or something. I don't know. Yeah. It took an entire fish twice, so it, it took it. It's, it didn't just fall off. I've had that head on there, and it's it hasn't fallen off. It's still on there really well. I mean, okay, we're ripping out, babe. That's very hot. <laughs> oh, got one. You got a fish? Yep. Fighter. Oh, he's a fighter. He's a pretty good size. Let me warm him out a little. Oh man, this is so exciting. This stiff grill's not working again. Do you want me to? No, I probably good. don't want to grab it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull that one. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice one. Yes. The big mama. I think these are girls. Maybe. You three. Nice, 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 nice. All right, guys. Ariel's getting our little rocket stove going. We're gonna cook some pancakes and some sausage, and I'm fishing. We got pike number three. This is turning out to be an awesome day out here. Let's measure this one. See how big it is. Maybe a hair smaller. Yeah. Let's see. Twenty-four. And this one was twenty-five and a half. So 24 inches, man, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get back to the cabin. We're gonna cook these up. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Okay, I've got some coconut oil down and we're gonna try and get our pancake batter out. We brought some pancake batter that we made this morning and we wanted to have some moose sausage and eggs. So we'll see how this all goes. They're gonna be some thick pancakes, hon. Oh my gosh, like frozen pancakes. Muffin pancakes. Yeah, frozen. <laughs> I know, I know. I think I need a little more of the coconut oil. Well, our pancake batter is pretty much frozen and I tried to stick it under the hood of the snow machine, let it warm up for a while, but I didn't want to leave the snow machine running, so. Pancake batter still frozen. <laughs> See how it works out. No, I need coffee first. You can drink some of this coffee. Um, See, is it still warm? Those are really beautiful pancakes. This <laughs> mm -hmm. Ugliest pancakes I've ever seen. It's very warm. Let's close that little hatch. So you can get right in the fire if you just have your goggles on. No need to stand back. That's good, huh? That's so good. 
ain't gonna win no beauty contest, but hot food. This is our first day out here, like Eric mentioned. This is the lake we really wanted to go to last year. I'm stoked we finally made it out here. It's, it was quite a bit of a journey, like a two hour journey from where we're at. Yeah, about an hour, over an hour in the truck and almost an hour in the snow machine. And there's surprisingly no one else out here. Nope, got the whole lake to ourselves. They don't look very pretty, people, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Cooking frozen pancake batter on the rocket stove ain't easy. They should taste good though, because it's cold out here. The sun just went away, so <laughs> I'm betting it's, bet it's close to zero out here. So we got some hot coffee and we're gonna have some hot food. That's good for me because I'm just gonna. Whoa, I was just gonna roll it up and take it. Oh, remember, we're gonna do pigs in a blanket. I forgot. Oh, well. You taking that on the go? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna grab it and go. I got a fish. All right. Here you go, There's sourdough. Mmm. Mmm. Borderline fried. Yeah. Borderline delicious. All right, pancakes are done. We're kind of just eating as we're going out here. Otherwise our food's gonna get too cold, but I think we're still hungry enough. I'm gonna cook up just a little bit of our moose sausage for us. And Ariel's just gonna keep fishing. And when we're done eating, um, I think we're gonna start heading back. I have so many layers on that I can like barely turn my head. I have to like turn my body. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not cold at all. This is beautiful. Look at that. I care. I mean, how much food are you trying to make, baby? Just this sausage and that's it. No eggs. Probably not. Okay, we just checked our time and we're getting a little close to when we want to start heading back. In fact, I think we already should have headed back. So we're going to wrap it up with the sausage. And yep. head back home and cook up some pike for it. Heck yeah. I didn't catch one, but that's okay. Yeah. You fished though. You fished hard, Ariel. It was almost good. I know. It was almost the first time we used them, actually. So it seems like today the technique that was working was that spoon that I had on, no bait. We did have the hit on the tip ups with the bait, but that was it, didn't get any more action. We haven't done a lot of pike fishing, but we're, we're getting more into it. And I pretty much just like using no bait with a spoon. That seems to work for me. And we're fishing really shallow water from the bottom of the ice. It's probably only about three feet of water. So our moose sausage is done. We're eating real quick. We're pretty much all cleaned up. And we got to jam out of here. We made it back to the cabin last night and we were way too tired to make a big meal. So it's the next day, we're gonna be cooking up this pike. It's pretty much frozen. I left it outside, so we're working with these uh, pike sickles is what I'm calling them. I just flayed the medium sized one and I wanna show you guys what was in its stomach. And this is what it was eating. It was another pike. And this thing is huge. Um, these fish are just like gnarly predators. So I think the next time I'm gonna jump up and do a bigger lure, see if we catch a bigger fish. I got one more to do, get this filleted, get them cleaned up a little bit more, and then we are gonna cook some lunch. So this is the biggest pike. He was just eating uh, like little bugs. 
or in the grass down there, so they didn't have a big fish in them. Nice looking play. All right, those are our pike fillets, and today we're gonna make kind of fish and chips. Ariel's gonna be making some garlic french fries. I'm gonna be cooking the pike. I think I'm gonna do some of it kind of lightly battered and fried, and then I'm gonna try baking it since I've never baked pike before, but first, we're gonna take all those carcasses and the scraps and we're gonna take them out and feed them to the chickens real quick. They're gonna love this. We're getting started on our fries and I have a German butterball potato, a red variety, and a purple viking which has white on the inside. I'm just going to get started by cutting them long ways. So right now I'm just going to get these in our cast iron skillet and I'm going to put olive oil salt and pepper, and then later, once they've been cooking for a while, I'm gonna add a whole bunch of garlic. I don't wanna add that now because the potatoes take a long time to cook themselves. And then we're gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees. Okay, fries are done. I'm gonna get these on a plate because I'm gonna use this pan to cook some of the fish. Okay, oh, those fries, those look good. Okay, the fish, like I said, I'm gonna fry some of it. I'm gonna bake some of it, but I'm gonna prepare it the same way. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cornmeal, flour, and salt and pepper. All right, I think that's all we're gonna cook today. The rest of this, I'm gonna marinate and cook tomorrow. All right, half the fish is in the oven baking, and I'm gonna fry the rest of this. I got a little bit of olive oil in the skillet over there. Let's get these breaded. We'll start cooking them. Okay, fries are done and the fried pike is done. Stuff this bacon that needs to go a little longer. So we're almost ready to eat. Look at that. This is really different. Look at this, this one has a lot of bones in it. <laughs> I see them sticking out. Well, this looks Really good. That's the fried pike. That is the baked pike. That definitely has more of like a yellowish color. The cornmeal really came out in that. French fries, we've already tried those. We've been snacking on them. They're really good. And we got our rose hip ketchup that Ariel made a while back. She's gonna jump in here with me and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm very excited to try this. Do you have any forks? There you go. You going for the baked? I'm gonna yeah, try the baked. I'm gonna try it too. Oh gosh, it's hot. It's weird. It reminds me of a chicken nugget. Yeah, it tastes like if you bought like a, like a, something at like the grocery store, like a pre-breaded chicken finger or a fish stick is what it's called. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Really, I don't. That's good. I don't care for that one as much. What? <laughs> Let me try this one. I'm done. Um, a bone. Careful. Oh, I love them both. I like that. Completely different flavors. That one's really just it, basic. It does remind me if you bought, like Eric said, like a freezer. I've never even eaten fish like that, but a, a fish that has been frozen. Mm -hmm. And then technically it was frozen. And then cooked, baked. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this has so much more flavor. I don't know why you didn't do anything different. It's it, absolutely it does have It does have more flavor. It's more oily. That's just really basic and a a really dryer. good dipped. Yeah, maybe a little drier. But they're both excellent. They are? They're both really good. That took longer to cook by at least 10 minutes, so something to think about. Man, we love pike. We always eat it. It's like one of the, our favorite fish to eat. Uh, I'm not that skilled at filleting them, so we always have a little bit of bones in there, but it's still really good. And this ketchup we have, it's almost like a barbecue sauce or like a cocktail sauce. It's really good. It almost tastes like a chicken nugget. You're right. It tastes like a chicken nugget. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. But it's... That's more like a fried, like a... So, like a fried fish. It's got like a brown, oily... This is good. I'm very certain that this is like, this reminds me more like what you'd get at a restaurant or something. Well, they're really both what both good I, I do like them both i just really prefer that one <laughs> in all honesty the fries are awesome they taste wonderful like eric said we really like pike um it's a really good fish getting three is an awesome amount because then we have you know get to gorge on it for a day and yeah. we have extra and just pan frying is usually my favorite way to eat it you really like it in soups it's really good that way too mm -hmm. well we had an awesome trip out there i think we really enjoyed going out that far and getting the fish yep. <laughs> it was obviously successful so that's awesome of course we wanted to bring you guys along for the adventure so we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time yep see ya <laughs> here i'm gonna do something oh that's the hillbilly bone right there really kind i'm gonna pick all these out and then i'm gonna give it to you no don't do that well i don't want it so hey you ate my little boneless piece i had right there <laughs> I was wondering what that paint was calling out to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I picked about the that. bones out of it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there are a lot of bones in this.